Yep, this is going to take a while. Um, does anyone have any questions or anything they want to go over? Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. The red one first. Yes, put that down, and then the other one on top of it. Yes, thank you. Um, no questions? So we're waiting for this to drop and go. Here's the targets. Oh, hurry up. Maybe this will happen right now. Let's go over the targets. If you're still in it. Actually, I'll put this exact one here. And I'm just putting the dream target. Oops, I'm at target. Just in case for some reason you would want to. Um, if, for some reason, if you want to be in this all day. Any questions from anyone about anything at all? do. Wow, this completely flipped. Hope this goes I hope this goes soon. It's getting boring watching it. This might even have a third trade in it. I mean, you could you could do this if you did it if you did it once it got out and did it again and got out down there on the drive. You could do, you could even do it again. Ninety nine, but again, stop has to be the same. You could actually have done this three times here today. It looks like I don't like to do that, but you could have. Any questions from anyone at all about anything at, at all about today, about the week, about the month? Here it goes. Nice call on SFM. I, I definitely think that November was very similar to October. This is for the room members as far as conviction goes. Who was it? Who was I talking to the other day that said, oh, it was Les. Les, are you here? I don't know if Les is here. If you find out, Les said he needs help with his conviction. So, and I think you do too, Galahad. I, I, you know, there's just no substitute for that. Um, there's enough, there will be enough for us to do, Jackie, yes. We, there's gaps for many reasons. You have gaps for earnings, you have gaps for other things. So we'll be doing non-earnings gaps in December. I don't know what. Like this today was a non-earnings gap. This was worth watching. This was worth watching. This could have worked, but it didn't. But it didn't rate over 20, remember, too. But it could have. It didn't. So we're going to be doing gaps in December, and there will be some earnings, and there will be some non-earnings. You think after TIFF and SFM that helps your conviction? Good. Very good. Yeah, you had a good day yesterday, and hopefully you will today, too. Those thousand dollar days when you're new definitely help your conviction. There's nothing like helps your conviction bes but besides green. Green helps. Consistent green. Here, SFM. And by the way, there's a time and a place to be aggressive as well. So this more to being aggressive today, but not everything does. Tiff did too. 
you, you could have even taken more tip yesterday like a hundred times. I mean, it was just. The benefit though of being in the room, Jackie, is that you don't, and, and, and Les is in here, but I'll, I'll say this again next week. Um, you just listen to me. <laughs> I'm the conviction for you. So that's the benefit of being here until you, until you feel what that feels like. Uh, just simple moving averages, VC. That's it. And I don't really do anything with them. I mean, they're just, they're here, they're on here, but my charts are very, very clean. Just simple moving averages and the candlesticks. And of course the moving price. But the candlesticks depict the moving price. Let's see if there's anything going on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick Google about the summit here. Like you knew yesterday that tip would not back up. Well, that was good, Jackie. Mimi needs a great Christmas month. Let's just see if there's any news about this summity thing. Oh, gee, I mean, we can look at that. I didn't really like that. Let's, let's see what that did. New York Attorney General opening investigation into Marriott data breach, and that stock's rallying. That's hilarious. See, that's why you don't you don't you don't you don't base what you're doing on the news or whatever the earnings say. Because to me, that sounds horrific, and it's the stock's rallying, so it's, it's crazy. Here, SFM, um, but that isn't good for them. All right, let's just look up here about the summit. Everything's like two hours ago, nothing new. <laughs> nothing new on the summit. Steven's done. Steven, you didn't do it a second time. That's fine. Comes with listening. I'm not going to go over that in depthly here today, VC. I, I go over that in the class because I'm in a trade right now. I'm trying to focus on that. If I have time today, we'll do a little teaching, but I, I don't think we're going to. It's This is turning out to be kind of a late day. Again, you could have got out here and been, we could have been done at 935. So bottom line is that some people were. And very often we are. I could have been done here too, but I chose to hold it through. I think this is going to have a bigger move. It, I believe that it's going to for sure. And we decided to take more. But we could be in this for till 1030 and I don't want to get distracted. But you know, I go over that in the class. I go over all the indicators in the class. But that's not really the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes is the points. It's the points. And not only that, getting the entries. And I didn't hesitate to hit this out of the gate today either. Nope, it's going to take a little bit longer. 10, 12, and we're waiting on this. This has got to break really 22.75 and with feeling. Again, if you have to go, you can get out of it here. I just still think there's another drop off here before we turn around. I'm seeing, I'm, I see sometime in the month of December a massive gap up that occurs in the market. That's I, you know, and to me, what is big is different to other people. But that's what I'm seeing. It's just, it's going to happen overnight, though. I know it.
Yeah, so this, again, you don't make decisions based on news or what the earnings say, because look at this. Look at that. This definitely worked. We never would have done it. Way too thin and traded strange and just bizarre. So this we're waiting and this is good and this looks great and this is fine. It's just got to hurry up. I'll look at what we have out coming out Monday. I don't know if there's anything of interest. Uh, but you know Mondays are typically slow, so I will check it out. Um, <coughs> Monday's December 3rd. Oh, we do have one thing in the morning. Here, we'll look at it. F FNSR. I mean, I don't know what this does. We do have one thing Monday morning. In fact, let's look at the whole week. DG is next week. HTS was next week. RH is next week, Toll, the Home Builders. AEO is next week, HRB, Lulu. A bunch of the retailers are next week, too. Ulta is next week. Wow, we haven't done that in ages and big. So there's a lot next week, and they're all earning, so I don't know what they do, but I'm just saying. Let's look at FNSR. This is Monday morning. No idea what this does, but we'll watch it. I'll watch it, I'll read it. That's all we can do. Let's look at Ulta because I haven't looked at that in 100 years. This is next week. This. Wow, I have not looked at this in a while. I didn't know they made new highs recently. So that is next week too. Wow, that really flipped around fast from where it had dropped off. You can't lose conviction if one thing you like doesn't work. And I think that's the problem. And then what happens is, then people start to have conviction in nothing. It's the same way with even taking classes. I've noticed talking to people that are thinking about doing my course. They did a class, they didn't learn anything. Then they lose conviction, they can never learn anything in any class. Then they do another class and they don't learn how to trade or make money. Then again, they lose even more conviction that nothing works. But, I mean, you know, common sense tells you that there are things that work, and also common sense tells you that there are many trades that work. So, you can't lose conviction just because everything doesn't work. And sometimes you make bad decisions. Sometimes you take a bad trade and you shouldn't have taken it. And that's not the, tr that's not the stock's fault. In fact, we shouldn't have done the market the other day. In the end, it didn't matter because I don't think I would have done anything that day at all. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done any trades. So in the end, it all evened out for me, but shouldn't have done that trade. This is a good trade. Yesterday was good. Day before was good. Here, SFM. By good, I mean solid. There it goes. I think we get this down a dollar. There's a cost. There's a cost to get ahead. There's, there's just there's just a cost. There's just there is a cost to attaining what you want. The cost is real money, financial. The cost is time, which is very real. Um, 
time that you're not doing fun stuff, time that you're not sleeping, uh, time that you're thinking. Mental and emotional energy is a cost uh, to, if you have lofty goals, whether it's to be a trader or do something else with your life, if you want to make a lot of money, there's a cost. There's always a cost. People are absolutely in la-la crazy land if they don't think there's a cost. And the cost is big. It's money. It's time. It's emotional. It's, it's everything. It doesn't have to take a long time, but it is going to have a cost. It can take a short time or it can take a long time, but it will have a cost. And you will never get there wherever you want to get without the cost. So sometimes people aren't willing to pay the cost. Sometimes they are. But know that if you're not willing to pay the cost, you'll never get there. I think you just get to a point, you decide you want to do something and you move forward and you just don't stop till you get there. And that's pretty much what I did with trading and pretty much what I'm doing now with TV. I mean, if I go back and rewind since I started this TV thing and I add up the cost, it's astronomical. <laughs> so you just don't do it. You say, you know what? There's a cost. I'm willing to pay it. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep going till I get there. And that's the end of the story. And I'm not, I'm not going to stop till I get there. So there's always a cost. Slow and steady wins a race. I, fast is fine. Fast is good. But I'm saying no, that there's a cost. That thing keeps stopping. I don't know why. All right, here we are. We're waiting. 1020. This has got to get going. I have a conference call on the phone at 1045. This has exactly 35 minutes to drop to work with my schedule. <laughs> Hurry! I think it goes before then, but 10 30. If not, I'm going to be in it and have to close out the room, and you're going to trade it on your own. If you're in this and you're up, you're up. We're waiting. Here. Maybe, Koala Bear, maybe. What's everybody doing for New Year's Eve? Have you figured it out yet? You got to plan it in New York earlier. You don't get in anywhere. Here, 2275. 7471, here it goes. Yay. Oh, look at this lovely. <gasps> Did everybody do the ad? Crap, 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 crap. Hold on. I really don't want to be in this all day. 62. 62. Anyways, I got an email about a New Year's Eve thing at Mandarin Oriental, which I love. It's two nights. Champagne this, that, dinner at the restaurant, then the ballroom the other night. And of course, they don't have the price. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to go alone. And none of my friends will ever spend the money on anything like that. But I could go alone. Anyways, I, I wanted to call to see the price. I'm like, I just want to see the price of this because some, sometime I'm going to do it. Some year I will do that. And so I called, and she said they're all, they're all, they have no rural reservations. They're all booked up. I said, wait a minute. I just got this email five minutes ago. Why would they send an email out and say that they had reservations available if they, if they, have, if they don't have any? Well, it's... You know, you have to call during the day between 8 and 5, and maybe they do, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, just tell me what the price was. Even if they had one, just give me – I just want to know. I just want to know what the price is. And she said $2,700. I said $2,700 for the package or twenty-seven? no, $2,700 per night. I was rolling. So $6,000, $6,000 for two people. And that's why I love New York. That is why I love this town, and I will always love it. Oh my God, you could go, you could go on vacation for a week. It's two nights. I said, well, what do you see from the ballroom up there? Because I don't think you see Times Square. She said, you see Central Park fireworks. Well, I see Central Park fireworks from my apartment. So for not seeing the ball drop, at, at, in, in the in the ballroom, I do think that that is pricey. I mean, it's a pricey hotel. I'm sure the party is fabulous, though. The party itself is probably fabulous, but 
you know, the food, the drinks, and everything, but it's like, and I'm sure it's really fun, and they have music, but you don't see the ball. You're not going to see the ball from up there. It's too far away. It's too far uptown. It's 59th. The ball's on, I think, 40, 45th, I think, is the ball. No, 42nd maybe the ball is. Is the ball right on 42nd? I don't know. It's too far away. But I did think that was pricey because you don't see the actual ball drop. But you see the fireworks in Times Square. 61. What should we do here? Should we get out of some? Should we hold the whole thing? 1024. What should we do? You could even go to a fabulous vacation in Disney World for $6,000 at the Stay at the Floridian. I mean food, everything. Probably even staying like a suite. Jackie says you're staying until 1030. It's only five minutes away. All right, here we go. Koala Bear lowered the stop. All right, but Galahad isn't allowed to do that anymore. Gyro's probably going to go skiing, huh, Santa Fe? For New Year's? Is that where you're going to go, Gyro? Galahad has one objective in December to be a monkey. An English monkey, a British monkey. <laughs> Do they even have such a thing? Are there monkeys in England? Here, under 65. Wow, we deserve this. This is taking all day now. We deserve it all. Um, Gyro wants to be in an airport for New Year's Eve. <laughs> That's what it takes. Is you have cheap flights when you fly out on the New Year's Eve? Is that why? I would imagine so. Jackie's going to the Philippines for a wedding. That sounds like fun. All right, looks like we do. We might get this through the low by 1030. We got four more minutes left. We're waiting. I don't think this backs up. If you want to get out here, you can. If you want to hold it, you can. If you want to get out of half here, you can. Or you did it before you got out and didn't do it again. I do not want to be in this all day. I, I definitely know. I was talking about Santa Fe. Supposedly, that is a beautiful place to visit in the summer and the winter. Supposedly. Supposedly, that is a beautiful place to go. I've never been there, but I almost went when I lived in Arizona. Supposedly, Santa Fe, New Mexico is beautiful. I would, I would like to go there someday. Okay, we've been talking all morning about the holidays and we want a Christmas trade. So 2265 SFM and it's hanging here like it wants to die. Was it beautiful, Jara? Santa Fe? Any other questions from anyone? Good day today. Good solid day. Hope everyone did it. And we'll see what happens here right now. Again, Sunday's the last day. If you want to re-sign up for the room, for those of you that are your room subscriptions expiring at the end of the year and your options one. And last day to sign up for the class for the cyber special. Where you get the room free for a year. Driver said at Santa Fe was fantastic. That's good to know. Yeah. 
here it goes. This is it. it. You could tell there it was just hanging. Here it goes. This is completely on its own too. What a nice call. What's Chip doing? This is still lower, but again, you got to be out of this. Galahad, did you add to this today? Were you aggressive or not? Hope everyone did it and did it well. Yay, good for you, Galahad. How much are you up? There it goes, under 60. There was only one negative thing about this today was the size of the stop initially, but you know, what are you going to do? It kept us in the trade. It was the right thing to do and you can't fudge it. You just can't fudge it. So sometimes they're small, sometimes they're big. Sometimes it's worth taking more risk because the gap's so good and we knew that here today. So, you know, it was a fine, but it was the only thing about this that I didn't expect the stop to be what it was, but it's money. It worked. 10.30, hurry! Same thing here now at 60 that it did at 65. Don't you wish you could move a stock? I wish I could just like short 5,000 more shares here and just move it. <laughs> but it wouldn't move it an inch. It wouldn't move it a hair. <laughs> I wish I could just short 10,000 shares and make it drop right now. <laughs> but it wouldn't even move it. <laughs> Don't you ever feel like that sometimes? Oh, the Christmas Barbie. I didn't show you people the Christmas Barbie. Here. Maybe Barbie will bring us good luck and this will go quick. <laughs> 